Taino religion and creation myths throughout the Caribbean can vary, and at times can be confusing and contradictory, depending on where they come from. The Taino creation myth in and of Puerto Rico is a variation of these general Taino myths throughout the Caribbean. It focuses on the role of Nkahu, the supreme deity of the Taino. According to the myth, Yucajo lived in the peak of El Yunque, a mountain in Puerto Rico that was considered sacred by the Tainos. He was a benevolent and generous god who gave life and abundance to his people. He also had a brother named Huracan, who was the god of chaos or disorder. Huracan was jealous of Yucajo's power and goodness and often tried to destroy his creations with his winds and rains. One day, Huracan sent a giant caiman, a type of crocodile, to attack Yukahu's mountain. The caiman bit off a piece of the mountain and swallowed it, along with Yukahu's magic duho, a wooden stool. This caused Yukahu to lose his strength and fall ill. As a result of this, the Taino noticed that their crops were failing and their fish were disappearing, and they prayed to Yukahu for help. Wabanito heard their prayers and came to Yukahu's rescue. She was a powerful healer who knew the secrets of plants and herbs. She found out that Huracan was behind Yukahu's sickness and she decided to trick him. She pretended to be a beautiful woman who wanted to marry him. She asked him to show her his treasures. Huracan agreed, and he took her to his cave where he kept the caiman that had swallowed Yukahu's duho. Guabanito saw the duho inside the caiman's belly, and she used her magic to make it come out. She then returned the duho to Yukahu, who recovered his health and power. Yukahu was grateful to Guabanito for saving him, and he rewarded her with a gift. He gave her a piece of land that he had carved out of his mountain with his hands. This land became known as Borinquen, which means the great land of the valiant and noble lord in Taino language. Yukahu blessed Borinquen with fertile soil, abundant water, and diverse flora and fauna. He also made it his favorite place to visit to watch over his people. This is the creation story that gave the Taino in Puerto Rico an explanation of how Borinquen came to be in order for them to make sense of their existence on that land. The Taino in Puerto Rico and the Caribbean were in general what we call polytheists. They believed in a series of major gods and lesser gods who exerted complete control of everything happening to and around them. For most, Yukahu is mentioned as the supreme Taino god. However, the first Taino creation myth speaks of the powerful creator god called Yaya, considered the supreme being of the universe. As the life-given spirit and causal force of creation that presides over the universe, Yaya plays multiple functions in the mythology as supreme being, cacique, and father. In fact, Yaya is actually believed by many to have become Yukahu. As a result of this, Yukahu is thus seen as the supreme being in Antillian mythology. He lives in the sky and is the invisible and beneficial protector of man. He is also the god of Yuka who fertilizes the earth and multiplies the harvest. For the Taino, yuca or cassava is a sacred food. Another important deity in Taino mythology is Yukahu's mother, Atabe, the goddess of fresh water, fertility, and the moon. She was also called the mother of waters or the mother earth. Of exceptional beauty, she taught men of the spirits that control the beings of the invisible world. The Taino would pass her representations over the belly of the women in labor in order to calm their pain. Another important female deity is Guabanex, 
She is the goddess of hurricanes, storms, and winds. She was also called the Furious One or the Old Woman of the Winds. This deity was a reminder to the Taino people when they went astray or failed to give offerings to the gods. Then there's Huracan, who sought to undermine his brother Yukahu. He is the god of chaos, disorder, and evil. He was also called the destroyer or the one who causes destruction. He was believed to be the source of all hurricanes and natural disasters. This is one of the gods that the Taino do not honor. Other gods included Maiketori Guayaba, the god of the dead, the underworld, and the night. He was believed to be the ruler of Koibe, the land of the dead, where the souls of humans went after death. There was Boinayel, the god of rain, clouds, and drought. He was also called the rain giver or the good one. And Marohu, the god of sunshine, clear skies, and dry weather, who was also called the sun giver. The list of Taino gods is numerous and the forces that these deities represented gives us an understanding of what was important and crucial in their lives. The Taino were super religious and every aspect of their existence was believed to be explained or controlled by multiple deities and so they were very adamant and pleasing these powers. They expressed their devotion to the gods or spirits by making carved representations of them, usually from wood, stone, or bone. These carvings were called Zemai idols. The Taino placed these idols in temples, shrines, or houses, and offered them food, tobacco, or blood. The Taino also wore Zemai amulets around their necks or arms for protection. They also had special ceremonies to honor the Zemis and ask for their blessings. These ceremonies involved dancing, singing, drumming, and sometimes vomiting to purify themselves. In addition, the Taino had a sacred bread made from cassava or yuca that they shared with the Zemis and each other. They believed that eating this bread would give them the power of the Zemis. The Taino social structure was also influenced by their religion. They had a hierarchy of chiefs and sub-chiefs who were believed to be descendants of the Zemis. They also respected their elders and ancestors and buried them with their belongings and Zemi idols. The Taino religion was largely destroyed by the Spanish conquest in the late 15th and early 16th centuries. The Spanish enslaved killed or converted most of the Taino population and burned their temples and idols. Some of the Taino who survived mixed with other groups and preserved some aspects of their culture and religion. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Help us to spread this video by sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos.